Bonjour. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Ça va. Oh, wow. Non, on va Ah oui. When we talk, we got to be careful. We got to watch. So, uh, thank you so very much. Uh, as you know, you know my, you know my name is Matthew Eugene. This is the name my father gave me, and I love it. <laughs> so, um, uh, I'm so delighted. So, not to be. Here. I'm not going to be able to stay too long because I got to go to another event. And I want to say something. It is an honor, a privilege for me, an obligation, a moral obligation to be here. It was not easy for me. Anna saw me in the parking lot, right? Mm -hmm. I've been looking for the place for, oof, for hours. Welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> and I went uh, at the entrance of Washington. And the uh, security told me, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, what do you mean? Okay, I, I was uh, driving, driving, asking everybody, they sent me this way, that way. Yeah, yeah. And finally, I said to somebody, you know, the building I'm going to is doing 72. I said, no, this is not here. You got to get out and make it right. And anyway, long story. <laughs> and then, but in myself, I said, no. my father always said, my, my son, when it's difficult, you got to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. When it's difficult, you got to do it. That is, there's something in there. Yeah. And uh, I, I was teaching Latin also. There's a, a sentence, a phrase that I love. Per angusta and angusta. See, by difficulty, we become stronger right. mm -hmm. and more powerful. Mm -hmm. But let me say that and, 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 there is another thing that came to my mind. So I said, Listen, hey, Ali came from Chicago. <laughs> from she at this very difficult time. So I'm right here in Brooklyn. I cannot go. I got to stay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I bring it, you know, I'm saying that because just to say that we empower, we are talking about empowerment of the Caribbean community. Yeah. Guess what? Every time that we make a step, regardless of the area, we empower ourselves. We are empowering somebody else by what you are doing. I say something very important, and, uh, and I'm humble, and I'm grateful, and I'm fortunate to be the first Asian American to be elected to government in New York State. But let me tell you something. It was not only because of the Haitian people. I've got to say that, honestly. It was all of us. The Caribbean people, the other people from other communities who came together. Mm -hmm. Because I was not the first Haitian American to run for office. Many others run before me. But at that time, it was God's will. Mm -hmm. It was the right time. We came together as Caribbean, as people. Mm -hmm. We have Jewish people, Italian people, Caribbean people, Pakistan. All of us came together. And I'm so grateful, so thankful, first of all to God, yeah. but to all of you. There are so many here. Let me share with you a, a story. Somebody that you know very well, and I will never forget, you know that, no matter what, I will never forget. We were going everywhere at night time, one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, I was driving, she was with me. At a certain time, we were at the... Um, FDI Drive. Mm -hmm. I don't remember where we were going. Probably she probably mm -hmm. remember because she got a very good memory. And then I was driving. She said to me like a mother, Matthew, you are sleeping. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> and I said, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I, you know, I kept driving. She said, no, no, stop the car. Go get a red bar. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the first time that I was going to get a red bar. <laughs> get, a get, a get, get out! No, come on, go get it. And I stopped the car. There's the uh, uh, um, when you are at FDI Drive, twenty third, something like that. There's a gas station there, mm -hmm. and I stopped and I went. I get it, but boy, and I was in it. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> and that's to show you, yeah. it was like a mother yeah. talking to a son. She wanted me to be safe. She wanted me to be, you know, to keep on going. And it was Yuna Clark. <laughs> and 
Mais I'm telling you, did she get, did she get one too? Uh, did she get a red food? No, no, she, she didn't need it. She didn't need it. She was so so powerful, so strong, stronger than a mice. You know? And she didn't. But uh, uh, you know, I'm so grateful to you. You know that. You know, my respect and my love, my gratitude to you. You know that. You know. And uh, Mrs. Astic, uh, Sir. Ida. And uh, you know, I would like to take a moment to uh, to pause, uh, you know, for Doctor Astic. But I don't, I don't want to do it because we are celebrating his life, mm -hmm. his vision.